hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in this replit tutorial series today we will connect a replit application which will be a python flask server to dialogflow cx and use that replit application as a fulfillment or webhook for our dialogflow cx agent so let's get started here i am on my replit account and i have login and you can see a button create replit so i'll click on that i'll choose the python template and i'll say uh, mm, dialog flow cx demo and i'll create replit meanwhile this boots up let me walk you through here in the file section you can create file and you can view the uh, output in console and in the cell you can install packages so for example in this video we are going to use flasks so i'll say pip install flask i'll hit enter this will install flask now here i'll create a new, new folder src and under that i'll add a new file app.py so this will be our server and main.py will be our starting point so under app.py i will say from flask import flask and i'll need requests oh sorry request as well jsonify i'll say app equals to flask underscore underscore name underscore underscore this will be our uh, application at app dot route uh, my home route will take methods get and post and i'll say uh, def home and i'll just return okay so here in my main file i say from src dot app import app and i'll say if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals to underscore underscore main underscore underscore uh, then app dot run and i'll say host equals to 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 .0 and my port number i'll say 5000 and debug equals to true now this will uh, when i run it this will start the server and hopefully we will see the output as well you can see we see the output okay and if i come here and if i go to my browser new tab and paste this we'll see that we got okay response so this is working so let me close this uh, now here in app.py what i'll do is that i'll create another route uh, app dot route let me first close this thing so that we can have more space and this route will be dialog flow route and this will take methods equals to uh, post cause dialog flow cx will throw a post request on our server and here i'll say def dialog flow and let me first uh, get the body of incoming data so requests dot get json and let me print the data and i will uh, return sorry return uh, just okay for now so uh, let me save this okay and uh, here let me open a web view and shell as well and let me close the web view here so 
if I come here, uh, sorry, it did not come web view. Yeah. So if I refresh this, we'll see OK status. So this application is running completely fine. Now I'll come here and I'll create my URL followed by a dialog flow, the full path. Okay, let me copy this. I'll go to my CX console. Here I have a YouTube demo chatbot. I'll open that. And first under manage section, I'll go to webhook. I have a webhook. I click on that and I'll replace the webhook URL with the latest one we just have developed. I go to build section. So this uh, chatbot uh, does a single thing. It starts a conversation. Uh, it extracts the information, the parameter that I need, a few parameters, and then it goes to this um, thank you. And here, thank you. Uh, it says thank you for providing valuable information and we will get back to you soon. So I want to connect this uh, response to a webhook. So what I'll do, I'll first search for dialog flow CX webhook response and this will lead me to a google platform where we can see that json uh, webhook response and if i go to let's say uh, v3 and i'll not choose the beta one so b v uh, version 3 it takes a fulfillment response uh, fulfillment response is uh, again object messages of list uh, which is again object and it has um, uh, text which is again object and text has a text object which is text uh, array of string so uh, this is this is you know uh, more information to remember at once so I'll go to github and I go to my github I have a repository where I already have a webhook. So if I go here and in the app.py, uh, I have the format. So I'll copy that format and I come here. So instead of uh, just okay, I'll say this. And when I save this, yeah. So I think this, is, this will work. So now uh, in the um, Dialogflow console, I'll come here and I'll enable the webhook and I'll say backend and I'll say thank you and I'll save it. So let me test the webhook. Uh, I'll start the conversation with hi and it will ask for a few information. I'll quickly provide that. And let's say raj at gmail.com. So uh, thank you for providing uh, valuable information is coming from here. And th uh, this is a sample response from webhook, which is coming from our webhook. And if we indeed go to share, uh, console, we'll see that we have uh, received a request with this information and we have sent a response back. So now let me convert this into uh, a function. Let's say def format format underscore response. And uh, this will take uh, text, uh, which will be list of string and it will send J Sonify and let me paste it here and so I will grab this into a variable response and I will uh, return that variable and now for the lists I'll just import from typing 
uh, import list so this was not necessary but this is the latest uh, you know fashion or pattern in which uh, python works so i used to you know follow that so here uh, if you can see uh, we have a property under uh, fulfillment info tag and from that tag we can you know segregate the incoming requests and perform different action so i'll grab that so here i'll say tag uh, equals to uh, tag equals to um, data and then full uh, let me copy this so fulfillment info and then tag and for time being let me print that and i'll return uh, let me just grab it into a response as well so response variable equals to uh, format response and it will take uh, texts of list uh, lists of text sorry <laughs> uh let me copy the response from cx console so this is what i would like to send and i'll come back here and i'll provide that here and so if i save this and if i run this yeah it will run automatically hopefully so it is running yeah it, it ran and if i go to web view i can see ok status and we have connected the response if i replay all the messages uh we can see yeah so you can see that thank you for providing valuable f information we will get back to you soon and if we come here and in the console oh dialogflow did not return valid response oh sorry i i forgot to provide return response here yeah it was a mistake uh if i replay that did it not work this time uh it says uh, response response is not defined copy paste uh, copy paste mm -mm -mm. it says on line number 34 return response now yeah i think this will work i think uh, previously it was not re reloaded completely so if i replay this yeah you see uh, thank you for providing this information and this is sample response coming from webhook and the reason is that i messed it here so when i say text now if i play it finally Yeah, you see, uh, thank you for providing valuable information. We'll get back to you soon. So in this way, you can, you know, create a custom response for your tags. And if we come here, you can see the tag name printed as well. So here you can, you know, use if else conditions for your tag and perform different type action and, you know, return the response using this format response function. Uh, I hope this video is helpful to you and now you are able to, you know, use Replit to create your webhook and connect that webhook to your Dialogflow CX agent. If you like my work, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps to grow. Uh, thank you for watching. Peace.